Megan, what? I need you to come in here. Me and Mom need to talk to you. Why? Now. What's your problem? What's my problem? Yeah. What's your problem? Somebody came up to me after church and showed me a tweet that you put out online this morning, either before service or during service, about two things that don't mix, church and my hangover. That was a joke. Who would show you that? I Somebody's don't I don't Somebody's believe it trying was a to get joke. me in trouble. So you think I was out drinking? I do. That's no. what your mom and I both think. What was going on at that sleepover you were supposed to be at? This is unacceptable behavior, Megan. So you can either come clean and tell the truth. Your punishment's going to be severe either way. But your best bet's to tell the truth now. What do you have to say? Nothing. Nothing. You no. have nothing to say, Megan. What do you want me to say? You at least admit to it. You're caught now. I'm gonna deny, deny, deny. I am not gonna fess up to that. We know it. We were teenagers once. We know how the drill goes. I can tell when you're lying. This is a big deal, Megan. You're underage. Biblically, it is incorrect to be out drunk. Do you not see anything wrong with what you're doing, Megan? Y'all are overreacting. It's not a big deal. Every other teenager does it. I don't know what the big deal this is. This is not about every other teenager. Being a family that's in the ministry, we don't need this kind of behavior from you. You chose to go into ministry. I didn't. But that is a decision that affects our entire family. It was a drink or two. It's not like I was snorting pills. I don't know what the big deal you is. You know what? Zach's problem was he thought it was just one little thing. Oh, it's no big deal. Well, guess what? He's in rehab right now. Well, I'm not Zach. Doesn't mean I'm going to end up like he did. You know what, I can Megan? control it. It was just a drink. The things that you're saying now are exactly the things that he sat there and told us. I am very disappointed in Megan. You know, besides disappointment, I'm actually hurt. She's just making some very poor decisions in her life. So your punishment's going to be disconnecting from the world. Phone, gone. Laptop, gone. And you keep your attitude up, it's going to get even worse. The best thing for you to do is to zip it. Great. So go to your room. Screw this. My dad's becoming a minister, and now he expects me to be perfect. They're overreacting, and it's pissing me off.